High blood pressure, diabetes, and smoking are well-known risk factors for heart attack, but do they affect men and women to the same degree? A new study published in the British Medical Journal shows that these risk factors do raise the chances of heart attack in both men and women, but to a far greater extent in women. Researchers from the University of Oxford and Johns Hopkins University analyzed information on nearly a half million people enrolled in a UK medical database. They found that a woman with high blood pressure had an 83% higher risk of having a heart attack than her male counterpart. A woman who smoked had a 55% greater risk of having a heart attack than a man. And a woman with type 2 diabetes had a 47% higher risk of heart attack than men. The reasons for these findings are unclear, but other studies have shown that women often overlook their risk factors for heart disease and take longer to seek treatment. Compounding the problem is that for the last several decades, studies on heart disease have been on men rather than on women because the assumption was made that there was no difference between the two. Today, there's been a shift in thinking and it has become increasingly clear that gender has a significant impact on heart disease. Dr. Nitza Alvarez of Tri-County Heart Institute in the Villages spoke to us about some of the things women experience when facing a heart event. 50,000 more women than men die every year from cardiovascular disease. As a cardiovascular disease specialist, as a woman, a daughter, a sister, a mom, these statistics upset me. Heart disease is the biggest threat of woman health. When we talk about heart disease and cardiovascular disease, those terms are used interchangeable. Think of it like a basket where you have many conditions that can be categorized as heart disease or cardiovascular disease. And that will include coronary artery disease, arrhythmias or irregular heartbeat, heart failure, stroke, and peripheral vascular disease. Coronary artery disease is the most prevalent condition. The most common cause for coronary artery disease is atherosclerosis, which is plaque building up in your arteries. But sadly, is still underdiagnosed, undertreated, and under-recognizing women. It wasn't until 2016 that the American Heart Association released the first statement recognizing, after 93 years of the history of the association, that heart disease is under-recognizing women and under-treated, as well as underdiagnosed. I think that is a great beginning to recognize that we're different, that we need more research, that the treatment that we're receiving are not necessarily treatment that is being studied in us. When people are experiencing chest pain, or they have a jaw pain, or a left arm pain or numbness, they think about their heart. And unfortunately, a woman, although it can present like that, more often than not, is not gonna be presented with those symptoms. A woman is more likely to present with what is called atypical symptoms. And I think it's, it's, it's about time that we stop talking about atypical symptoms. They're called atypical just because those are not the symptoms that a man will present with. It is typical for a woman. So we have to learn that there's no such a thing as an atypical symptom. So when we have a woman complaining of, I'm more short of breath than usual, I'm short of breath at rest, or my regular physical activities, even my house chores activities are making me short of breath, we have to think about heart attack. We had to think about a heart attack on a woman that is complaining of stomach pain, low abdominal pain, a burning feeling in my chest. Symptoms that can present more subtle, such as I'm fatigued, I'm having this pain between my shoulder blades. Those are the symptoms that a woman will present with when she is experiencing problems with coronary artery disease or a heart attack. As part of her year-round commitment to help you prevent the stent, you can join Dr. Alvarez every second Saturday of the month for a walk with the doc. Participants will enjoy a brief presentation on an important health topic, followed by a walk at your own pace led by Dr. Alvarez. You can find information on Walk with the Doc and the Tri-County Heart Institute when you click the Great Gender Divide story link icon online at yourhometownhealth.com.